I'm going to start at the front of the boat and I'm going to work my way around and we'll uh, complete with a uh, test run of the engine just plugged up to my water hose here not on the lake this is the operator console and all the gauges work it's got three seats to cross storage underneath each seat and uh, cup holders on the back of that center part that folds down for a step as well as the place to hold your drinks and so forth while you're running. There are two storage compartments, one on each side in the rear. Uh, you can use them for uh, bait storage. Uh, I use, put three Plano tackle boxes in there with lures. I've never used it for an ice chest, but I've been told by some that they do use them for an ice chest. I don't think it would be great for an ice chest, but you can do it. This is the rear of the boat. The transom is in really perfect condition. I've never hit anything uh, with the engine. Most of its fishing life was spent on Caney Lake and Jackson Parish, which is a very clean, clear, wide open lake. So it's really never been in any uh, nasty uh, stump filled lakes. Uh, very much. I mean, I did go to Caddo on it once, so it had, but I didn't hit anything while I was in there. This is the uh, serial number on the boat, and you can see there it is a 2011. And this is the uh, Mercury 60 horsepower four stroke engine, runs perfectly cranks quickly. Never had any issues with that. It's very fuel efficient. And this is the view of the, this is a 20 gallon built in tank and two batteries. The uh, trolling battery, which I'm showing you right here is brand new. I just put it in and I installed some terminals uh, connectors on there that allow for additional accessories to be um, uh, hooked up very easily. This battery right here is probably two to three years old. It's a cranking battery and it still works fine. Holds a charge. This is the uh, guest onboard charger. It's a two bank charger. I just put this in the boat. Um, the original one played out on me. So this one is brand new and it works perfect. This is the other storage compartment on the rear deck that I uh, showed you from the other side. I don't have anything in it right now, but uh, this one has the three Plano tackle boxes and you can see how well it fits just perfectly if you get the right one. Here's another closer view of the operator driver console. All the gauges, once again, it works. This is the original depth finder that came with the boat and you know in today's standards it's uh, certainly outdated but it does work and you can see that uh, the unit does work and uh, really never had any issue with it if I uh, was contemplating putting some new electronics on the boat but if, uh, if I don't sell it then I'm gonna do that uh, this way you can purchase if you purchase the boat you can put whatever you want on it there's uh, plenty of under seat storage for um, you know small items and that center seat lifts up and that seat over there does as well so you have access to the entire length of the under seat storage this is uh, one of the front deck storage boxes they are waterproof and I've never had any issues with um, anything getting wet in there at all. I have all the original paperwork for the boat and accessories right here. That's the front navigation light. This is the other storage compartment on the front deck. This is usually keep life jackets and 
so forth in this one. Um, extra tackle, anchors, whatever. You know, so we're in this one. It's also waterproof and all uh, the storage compartments do have locks. If this is the uh, the floor, uh, floor and carpet floor right in front of the uh, front deck in the seating area does have a fire extinguisher that's never been used, but it still should be good as well. Well, all the carpet is, is clean and in good condition. Let me just take a quick look at the, uh, the boat trailer now. Um, I already told you about the breakaway tongue, as you can still see that. And it has a, a stowaway jack. It's got a wheel on it so you can pull the boat around uh, easily. The trailer's in very good condition. Bearings and uh, it does have easy load bearings on there. You have to take that center hub out and you have access to um, the grease port. It's got the stainless steel diamond plate on both sides of the trailer where you step and you get into the boat. These are the original tires that came on the boat. Uh, they're in good condition. And, uh, you know, but they are 10 years old. And I have a transom saver that is always installed on the boat when it's been towed. This is the uh, driver's side of the trailer. And there is a uh, mounted spare right here that's uh, never been on the ground. You can see the little knob still on it. Now I'll show you the really only what I would consider cosmetic defects that are on the boat. And it's on this rub rail that I'm showing you right here. There's uh, a couple of places like this. It's just one of them that's... It was doing its job, you know, up against the pier or something that uh, where it got gouged out a little bit, but it kept the boat from getting damaged. And that's uh, there, and I'll show you the other place on the other side of the boat. The rest of the rub rail is in good condition. I have uh, looked it up online. You can buy a new rub rail, little 50 feet of it. Um, it'll, it's about a $118 or something like that. You might be able to find it cheaper. Um, somewhere else there's a, a little bit of a place right there, and that's the other the larger gouge, if you call it. But uh, that's it as far as any noticeable cosmetic issues and easily and cheaply repaired if you want to be perfect. Okay, I'm inside the boat now. I'm going to give you a look at the live well, that is an aerated live well with a pump out feature. It is divided, the divider comes out and if you wanna have access to the entire live well, it will easily be removed. And this is a pump out feature where you just, if you pull that out, instead of aerating, it'll, it'll pump all the water out of the live well. This is the largest storage compartment with a rod rods are stored in the in the front deck under the front deck and uh, it's got a lot of room in there it's really cavernous you can i don't know how many rods i've actually put in there before but it's really the only thing i i'm not that crazy about i mean it does its job you know but it's uh sometimes if you, if you want to get the rod down there at the bottom <laughs> you know you got to pull some other stuff out but uh it is dry storage as well so you can keep your rods in there and keep them out of the weather i usually just take the rods that i know i'm going to be fishing with for the day and i'll strap them on to the upper deck up here using that strap and there's one on the front and the back so uh, you don't have to transport the, or, or really try to get the rods out when you get to your fishing site they're already out there ready to okay. go this is a view of the operator console and all the gauges from in the driver's seat I guess I better turn this thing off 
Okay, so here you have all of your, you know, your navigation lights, switch, the uh, aerator timer, or it's either continuous operation or, or it'll uh, cycle on and off periodically. And then at the bottom is where you can pump it out you know, or recycle and agitate. Um, so this was a timer, you know, that'll, that'll work off of a timer. And then you get ready to pump it out. You can just flip this switch. I can't hear it, but it is running. Very quiet. And then, you know, that's the pump on the live well feature. See that the battery is registering on 12 volts. I uh, don't have very much. I only put a couple of gallons of gas. I pumped all the old gas out before I ever tried to start it this year. And I put a couple of gallons in there. That's why the, uh, the tank's not really registering with any gas in it. But, uh, and it does work. And it holds, like I said, a 20 gallon tank. So, I mean, with this, the fuel efficient as this engine is, I've uh, fished a whole week on Caney Lake with a <laughs> still had gas left. So it's a, I love the boat from that standpoint. It's a pretty quiet when it's running with the four stroke. It idles great. It, um, you know, this boat is rated for a 75 and this is a 60 horse, which is plenty good. I mean, I, it'll run 37, 38 easy and then I have Got it up to 40, 41 with uh, just me and a little bit of gear in the boat. This is the uh, outboard engine cover that comes with it. I've had this uh, since I originally owned the boat. I did have a factory boat cover. It's a really super nice boat cover. It uh, was in good condition, pretty good condition for up to about nine years and then some squirrels got into my boat uh, last year sometime and really did a job on the boat cover, which made me sick. But I was so mad when I, I discovered it that I uh, I just took it off and threw it away. I probably should have kept it and I might have could have taken it to a tent repair place and they might have could have fixed it, but it's too late, it's gone. Um, but it has been covered. It's either been under it's been under this since I've lived at this place. And I've all, even under this, I, I had the boat cover on it. So, you know, trying to keep it as, as new looking as possible. Okay, I'm gonna start the engine here in just a second and just turn the water on to it. And uh, I haven't cranked it in several days now, so it's gonna be a cold start. All I'm gonna do is pump the bulb up.
I've, uh, I've only had the engine tuned up one time uh, since I've owned it. And uh, that was at the Bass Pro Shop here in Bossier City where they uh, changed out the um, water pump and uh, changed the oil and so forth on it. And I haven't really operated it very much at all since that was done. So I was gonna change the oil and, so, and put a new filter in it, but it, the oil looks so good, I just uh, didn't do it. But I do have that, uh, a fresh oil change and filter to go with it. So that when that time comes, you'll have it. Anybody that wants to buy it. Okay, that concludes the video. And uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me. Again, my name is Rex Finkley and I'm gonna post this on my YouTube site and link it to the marketplace so that you can see it. Thank you.